and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. What's the deal, y'all? Rich Trapper's happening in TNN Trap News Network, and we back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing. Back in this thing. Like, cook, crack in this thing, man. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. For more of this good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. News you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college, big dog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. For what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Trap News Network is what it is. You feel me? Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network. T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. How long you gonna be there? My bad, y'all. I'm chasing chili. You good. That just makes the intro 15 seconds longer. And it makes you super mad that my intro's long. But you know what? Yo, girl, like my long intro, she loves it. I promise you she do every single minute of it. Don't worry about it, though. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper Worth More Than Money. Rich Trapper I'm Better Off Without You. My two singles start from scratch. And A Nightmare Before Christmas is both out now. It's one of my newest projects. I'm still better off without you. That's out now. Get into that if you ain't got into that. We giving away this chili, big dog. Yes, sir. Today, we hit 7,000 subscribers. And as promised, we hit 7,000 subscribers before April 1st. So I'm going to give y'all $100. Today, we'll get $100. At the end of this video, I'm going to announce who is the winner of the $100 for show for show. If we can get to 8,000 between now and April the 14th, I'm going to throw another 100 Easy call. I'm going to get y'all this good chili, man. But the best comment of the month of March, will got it. still got a chance to win another $50. We're giving away this good cash. You feel me? Don't worry about it. We finna jump into this good content without no further ado or don'ts. We got my man Hoodie from the Hood saying, how can a civilian be a gang expert? And here at CNN Trap News Network, we don't publicly align ourselves with any type of organization, Bloods, Cribs, uh, essays, Asians, Latin Kings, Disciples, Vice Lords, or Haitians. We are as square as a box of Apple Jacks, twice as green, and you will never publicly catch me with any of you misfits. Not gonna happen. L7 Square. We here at TNN Trap News Network don't condone any sorts of illegal activities. However, shout out to all the gangbangers. We appreciate y'all. Y'all make the world a better place. We have my man Hoodie from the Hood. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Show a whole lot of love to my bro Hoodie from the Hood. He wants to know how can a civilian be a gang expert. And I am glad that we are not gang experts. We do the news. Let's get into it without no further ado or don'ts. Let's go. What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Show What's happening, Hoodie from the Hood? Boy, Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big old end, and I'm back at y'all with another video. But before we get started, if you happen to be new to the channel and want to become a member of the Hoodlum Gang, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave me a comment below. Share the video, hit that the notification irony, bell. Tell a the irony of having to watch my intro and then get mad at it because it's too long than having to watch somebody else's intro because I'm reacting to that video. I love it. It has to piss you off even more if you don't like the long intro. To watch an intro and complain about the intro, just to have to watch another intro before you get to the content, amazing. Look at God. And tell a friend, go on over to IG and follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. Now check it out. Got a few things I want to talk about. <laughs> that nigga. That nigga P. Diddy, a.k.a. P Zesty, aka P Nasty. P Nasty is hilarious. You know you done fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. Now look, homie. I'm never an advocate of nobody going to the slammer, homie. No matter what you did, the universe will catch up to you. You know what I'm saying? Um But that that nigga moved like a mob boss, don't he? he <laughs> And the fact that P, P. Diddy <coughs> got little so soon. Oh, bro, got that chili. He got a pot there. <laughs> <coughs> hey, I was just telling one of my coworkers, I was like, when you that high up on the totem pole, you got friends that's even higher up in that world. So I'm quite sure he got the tip. Like, hey, man, you better get up out of here right now. They coming. Because how that boy get way over there to, what is it, Cape, Cape of Verde, some, somewhere where they don't got extra. Cape Verde. The word you were looking for is Cape Verde, but don't worry about it, big dog. Words are hard. Today at TNN Trap News Network, the geographical location today of today is Cape Verde. That is where Diddy is alleged to be. We don't know where Diddy at. We going to stay out of growth. Shout out Young Miami in the pink cup. Never mind. We just going to keep going. Extradite, extradition, whatever. Somewhere where they can't extradite you. Um... 
I think this was carefully planned. Uh, man, that's crazy. This is like watching a movie right now, man. That boy then got on. And then if I'm not mistaken, I think yesterday when it happened, coincidentally just happened to be like uh, anniversary for uh, the day he dropped Biggie's last album, um, Life After Death. I think it dropped on March 25th, 1997. And they raided his house on the same day. That's crazy. Um, I seen a meme and it said, I see. <laughs> I seen the meme and he said the meme really tickled my man. He started laughing. Before. You know something's funny when you laugh before you say it. Did uh, did Diddy, you know, do something the biggie as far as that zesty shit? But anyways, man, yeah, that's. I just wanted to start it off with that because that's. I didn't want to make a whole video about that, homie, because I don't care that much. But that was funny. So look, you see the title. Um, there's four different reasons, my favorite number, there's four different reasons why I If y'all could have seen what I just did right now, you would understand why I just made the face I made. All I'm going to say is, <clears throat> it's cool. Players mess up. Pimps F up too. Man down. Pimp 42. If y'all could have seen what I just did right now off camera. Back to old school LA stuff. I had to give myself a rip for that one. Boy, that was stupid. I had to give myself a rip. If you're from LA, you know what an old school rip is. One, one more time. Back in the neck. That boy need a rip. That just... That, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's me. I'm making this video today. Um, one. That's me to the point that the next blood is on me, y'all. Y'all ain't even got to roll up. I'm going to roll up the next one out of my sack. That's me. That's me. All right. All right, I'll name them as I go. One, I seen OG Bear make this video uh, maybe about a week ago. And uh, he was talking about <clears throat> these civilians that's infatuated with the gang culture and the gang life. And all they do is, either when they create channels, all they do is talk about <clears throat> gang stuff or they in the comments telling you or arguing with you about a lifestyle that they never lived, which is crazy. Man, y'all love, I swear to God, bro. Ain't nobody tougher in the comments than the nigga in the comments. Nothing is tougher in the comments than the nigga in the comments. I get that here on YouTube, you guys are the most bloodiest bloods and the crippiest crips. We get it. We get it. But... Rather than being in my comments trying to tell me how to do what I'm doing, my little one-two step like Sierra, all I'm saying is your services would be much better used. Maybe if you want to go outside and actively game bang instead of like polluting my comments. Chill. And um, I don't get it. How can you be an expert or a professional in something that you never participated in? I don't care how much you've been around it i don't care how many friends you got that's involved you are not an expert look i got square homies i got homies who i'm i'm his square homie when he says he has square homies that's actually me that he's talking to box of apple jacks twice as great square square don't worry don't worry about me you know i don't want to fight anybody i don't want to oppa stopper i don't want to stop a oppa Spin, pull ups, pop outs, walk downs, walk through, drive bys, pull ups, run downs, uh, spinning, stepping, standing on business. I'm actually sitting down right now, so I can't even stand on business because I'm actually sitting down right now. And if I had to stand on business, that means I gotta put my shoes back on, and I don't want to put my shoes back on. So, probably won't be standing on any business today. It's cool though, because pretty girls like me, so. That's a thing. I get chili. And then I give y'all chili. Sounds pretty good to me. I get pretty girls in chili. Y'all get chili. We all win. So close with. And they watch my channel. Shout out to my bro, Dorian. He one of them. And he always be like, 
bro, I'll be watching your channel for support, but I don't even know what's going on. You know what I mean? He's not trying to be a, a gang expert or a professional or tell me what he thinks should happen in the gang world or what should happen to this dude or that dude. He like, hey, man, I just watch it because you the bro. I'm trying to give you your view. That's how it's supposed to be, homie. Mm -hmm. But these civilians have taken on, and not all of y'all, it's a lot of solid civilians. I Hey, civ civilians are the new gang banging bullies, man. Where gang members and all that used to bully civilians, civilians is like the now like it's revenge of the nerds, man. Please don't think I'm targeting all of y'all. I'm talking about the ones that be doing this in the comments or the ones who create their channels and speak as if they're more qualified to speak on it than you. That's equivalent to I always trip when I seen Skip Bayless arguing with Shannon Sharp. And it's like, no matter how long you've been covering the game. No matter how many locker rooms you've been in to, to for your journalistic point of view, you don't know what's actually going on because no matter what you see as a journalist, th they're not showing you the real on how they conduct themselves when it's just them in that locker room. So you can't try to over talk and out talk Shannon Sharp. That always tripped me out. <clears throat> There's no way that I can tell somebody about being an astronaut, no matter how much I've studied it, if I've never been to space. Exactly, because I'm the only one of us that's ever actually been to space. Duh, I'm an astronaut. Shh, don't talk about that. Y'all so busy trying to figure out what hood I'm from, but in real life, bro, I'm really an astronaut. Plot twist. But you got- <laughs> I work for NASA. <laughs> got these dudes that come in your- It's some really good weed I'm smoking. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it comments over and over again and they try to tell you who should get a dp who and, and you know who the who the civilians are because nine times out of ten as soon as they don't agree with something they start calling you corny lame goofy like real gang members don't do shit like that nine times out of ten real gang members aren't really too big on online name calling now you civilians are very extra very extra you gang members are extra er 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 but you civilians are the extra er -ist. For sure, for sure. The real nigga won't even speak on it in the comment section. If he do speak on this, it's gonna be in your inbox, on the phone, or when he see you behind closed doors. They're not finna get in your comments and start arguing with you and saying, oh, you goofy, you're a weirdo, you lame. You niggas don't talk to nobody like that in real life. Let's just be honest. If you don't believe me, next time you see it. Hachu, milk. Hachu, snitch, honey. Hachu, whack. Did I do that right? I don't think I did it right. Hat you, hoes. Yeah, that's not how it goes, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Pack of gang members on the corner or at the park. Walk up. I was never the best sneezer. Never. Sneezing was my thing. I could cough my ass off. Can't nobody cough like me. But sneezing, not really my thing. Not a sneezer. Why they politicking? Walk up in that conversation, stand there, listen, and then insert yourself into that conversation and start calling niggas names oh yeah you a weirdo he's a bitch you ain't like that do that and see how that go for you you wouldn't do that because if you walked out your house right now you saw a gang of niggas on your street or at the park you would go the other way but the 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 ability to be anonymous behind these accounts give you guys the courage that you normally wouldn't have in person and I see it a lot. It's just like, bro, like, why are you so infatuated with the gang life? You got some people who will watch it and be like, this is stupid. Gang banging is pointless. Y'all don't own nothing. Why are you watching it? Nigga, nobody put a gun in your head and made you watch this content. But as soon as a weirdo like Swamp Stories come out, y'all run his numbers up. His subscribers is way up there. But if a gang member who lived that life. Hey, my man. <laughs> don't like nobody. Bro don't like Paperboy News. I still don't know why he beef with Paperboy News. My bro don't like Swamp Stories. Hoodie from the hood say it's him against everybody. He stands up on his team. So look, this is what I want y'all to do, man. I want y'all to go to my man Hoodie from the Hood page right now. Stop watching this. Pause it. Go to my man Hoodie from the Hood page. It's tagged in my bio. Like, uh, not my bio, my description, excuse me. Um, the description of this video, that is not in everyone's just in this one. Some of y'all are kind of slow. I went to the video, went there. You went to the wrong video, dummy. Is this video. Anyway, go. Um, yeah, man, subscribe to bro, man. My man said he the long ranger out here. He ain't tripping. Just talking about it, then he's glorifying it. 
and oh you don't own that property you're fighting over a hood you don't own you don't say that to a nigga who has no connection to the street y'all find that entertaining so as a gang member most gang members are hustlers not most at least half that's gonna make a nigga be like damn this square is capitalizing off of something i went through let me capitalize but y'all won't let us shine because i always say the majority of the world is suckers so they see themselves in somebody like Swamp Stories. And he's not the only one. I'm going to get to another one in a second. So they, they're going to promote that because they feel like, damn, I could just start a channel and hide my face and say what I really feel without no backlash. And make some increments off of it. Shout out. Hey, shout out Crip Mac, man. Big increments. C-Mac for that one. But free Crip Mac in the comments. Wait, today's day 12? Today's day 12, fuck management. Management, if you're watching this video, which I know you're always watching the videos because you always watch the videos, fuck you. If didn't nobody tell you today, fuck you. Sit down, relax, smoke a blunt, chill. And before you do all that, fuck you. Yeah. Hashtag F management in the comments. Just flood that. Go crazy. And keep in mind too, y'all, y'all got the green light. If somebody in the comments complaining, I don't like the intro, I don't like this, I don't like that. I'm a big whiny complaining little bitch. Bleed him. I ain't gonna report you. Go for it. I don't care. And if any of you weird ass YouTube niggas or Clubhouse niggas want to use my video to, you know, meet, eat, 600 and whack, I'm not going to report your page. I don't care. Go for it. I'm not going to demonetize you. I'm not going to do none of that type of shit. That would mean that I actually gave a fuck. I care more about this blunt than I care about you, big dog. I would actually spend more time searching for this blunt. Just this little bit of it. I would spend more time. This little bit right here. I would actually spend more time searching for that blunt in, our, in my... <clears throat> excuse me, in my truck if I lost it, and I would spend trying to take the time to report your page. The blood is actually more important than you are. So with that being said, go for it. Use my content. Do you. I don't care. It, it just always amazes me that these be the first dudes in your comments trying to argue with you. Then they be pretending to be from hoods that they not even from. And it's just like, you could tell a nigga ain't from somewhere because first of all, Real ones ain't finna be banging on you in the comments like that. Second of all, sometimes these dudes be from hoods that don't even be for your hood. And they'll just come in there be like, bro, will not you get on the internet and figure out who your enemies are? Find the nigga who create content from that hood and go troll him. Like, what are you doing way over here? That's how you be knowing these dudes is goofy, homie. They, got, they be feeling the most offended. These are the type of dudes that be in Dirk's comments telling him to slide for Vaughn and ain't never even went on the mission. Ain't never bust their guns. Ain't never had to make it back to the set after some shit. I ain't never did nothing, homie, but they can portray that because nobody will ever find out who they are behind these accounts. I bet you if there was a way to find out who people was, the trolls are damn near dead. Hey, Hoodie from the Hood, there is a way to find out who people are. Slide on me on Instagram, big dog, and I'm going to link you with my guy. Ironically, management. <laughs> Ironically, management, who would fuck them, but don't worry about it. You're good. Slide in my DM. I'm, I'm, I'm going to direct you to management. He can walk you through the process. You can actually find out who these people are. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you, big dog. News you can use. Knowledge you can't get in college. I got you. Don't trip. The period. It go extinct. Guaranteed, homie. There's trolls on Instagram, but nowhere near like Facebook. I mean, uh, YouTube. There's a reason for that, homie. Like, I always say there has to be some type of mental illness going on in the comment section. You see a lot of it. Straight J-Cats just saying whatever pops in their mind. So... But you have to remember, too, like, people like Snitch Hunter and, like, Officer Rat, they make fake accounts to, like, defend themselves in the comments because who, like, Milk does it all the time, Snitch Hunter does it all the time. Like, who's actually a fan of these people? Like, nobody actually defends these people. But, you know, they make these comments, they make these pages, and it's, like, the same two or three people over and over and over again, like, constantly defending them, and they only pop up on the videos about that person, and they're only ever defending that person. So it kind of, like, lets you know that um, they just have a lot of free time. Fortnite's a pretty good game. Right now, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. If you're having a lot of free time on your hands, you might just want to pick up a hobby. I, I play video games. I enjoy Red Dead Redemption, too. Slide on me on Instagram. I'll give you my PlayStation Gamer tag. Not tripping. Because I'm a square. I play video games. Video games are enjoyable. Come on, now. What I'm supposed to do, be in the streets gang banging? Should I be out, like, shooting people because they're from across the street? Is that what I'm... I don't know. I don't know.
YouTube in the comments, y'all let me know because apparently you guys in the comments know how to live life better than anybody else. That's why you're actually in the comments and not actually living life. So please let me know how to live my life in real time while you live yours in the YouTube comments being haters. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got the other conversation, um, which shout is out, actually it. Shout out to that Rich Trapper Mafia, though, and the Rich Trapper Political Party. I'm still really not sure what you guys do, but somebody said this is the Rich Trapper Political Party, and I thought it was a pretty good sounding thing, so I'm going to run with it. But shout out to that Rich Trapper Mafia. If somebody could still break down what the Rich Trapper Political Party is, I'd appreciate it. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It uploaded right now with... Or worry about it, so you could explain it to me. But uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Tiny Dude from Lincoln Park. But it's on private because... For some reason, YouTube has... And random, if you're mad because I keep stopping a video to talk, you're actually here for my reaction. It's a reaction channel, so you're actually here because you want to hear what I think. If you don't like it, there's a wonderful thing you could do. It's called hit the description button, hit hoodie from the hood, and you could actually watch the whole video uninterrupted on his page. Who would have thought? You didn't have to act like a bitch in the comments. You could just watch it on his page. been making my dollar signs yellow when i upload these videos then i got to request a review and then that take 24 hours to 48 hours and by that time the video then already did 10,000 15,000 views and that's down the drain for the most part they get the majority i get crumbs i don't know why they've been doing that to me so what i've been doing is uploading the video monetizing it while it's on private if that dollar sign yellow, I request my review. Once the review goes through and I win and it turns green, then I put it on public for y'all to see. That way I get all the views. Shout out to Alex Alonzo for that bit of advice. So. Hey, Alex Alonzo be out here helping at youth, bro. Alex Alonzo looked out for me. He didn't look out for hoodie from the hood. Shout out to Alex Alonzo, bro. Shout out to Alex Alonzo, bro. Again, hey. I got to I'm gonna throw another one. I already did it once, man. I apologize to Alex Alonzo for when I was being disrespectful when we had our first encounter, big dog. I was 100% wrong. I apologize to you once, but I'm apologizing to you twice, OG. That was me. That was me. I apologize. You be giving niggas real game, bro. You a real nigga. Tiny Dude was saying when he went through his trial with that way, if that dollar sign yellow, I request my review. Once the review goes through and I win and it turns green, then I put it on public for y'all to see. That way I get all the views. Shout out to Alex Alonzo for that bit of advice. So, Tiny Dude was saying when he went through his trial and, and they got indicted and they was trying to use his rap lyrics and all that. I don't want to give it away. Y'all going to see in the interview, man. He actually won that lawsuit against the city too. 1.5 million. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, but he was saying then they got the experts, the gang experts coming up there. No matter how much research you've done, no matter how many confidential informants you got, you still don't know. But the problem is they'll call themselves a gang expert. They'll get up there and they'll say, this means this, this means that. They'll have a lot of shit wrong. They have, they have a lot of shit right too. They have a lot of shit wrong, but the jury don't care. The jury is already squares. Why do you think you can't have no record or no felonies to do jury duty? They be square so they don't know. So they're going to automatically believe what these people are saying. And you can't combat that. You can't get up there and be like, nah, that's not what it mean. It mean it. you can't do none of that. They're going to run with what them people was telling them. So we up against it and there's no actual fair <clears throat> just due to us. Once them people claim to be experts who never lived the life and get up there, you're done for it. Imagine being a gang expert on South Central gang culture and you've one never lived in South Central and you're from like Wisconsin. Crazy. And this is the person like that has your life in the balance. And they like, what is Wisconsin even famous for? Let's learn something real quick, guys. What is Wisconsin famous for? Wisconsin is famous for its cheese and dairy products. The nigga who makes cheese has your life in his hands. <laughs> Man, we got you kids turned up gang members who gonna go crazy in the comments because you guys are overly aggressive and you rather be in my comments gang banging on me. And I tell you all the time, I'm not publicly affiliated with any gang criminal organization or anything like that. I actually do the news. You guys, I'm, it's not for you guys. Kids, you don't want the nigga who makes cheese holding your life in his hands. So, you know, street shit is cool, but like, 
college is a thing. Careers, success, doctors, lawyers, mechanics, technicians, engineers, IT, programmers, graphic designers, app creators, video gamers, athletes. These are all things that don't get you shot. So just making merchandise, clothes, fashion. None of these things get you. You can legally grow and sell marijuana in California. Like legally. You can just go do that. You wouldn't be a trapper. And you get to hang out with Wiz Khalifa. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Shout out Wiz Khalifa. That's the second reason. Uh, the third reason. I just seen Nina Boy. He um posted a video today. I guess people was talking about the interview he did with Alex Alonzo. And it was recent. Now, if you know anything about Alex Alonzo, you know that if I do an interview today. You'll be lucky if it come out by June or July, maybe even August. That's how it operates. He's so backed up. He do so much interviews. He got so much going on. You're not going to see that that interview for a while. So he got on the civilians. He was talking about how civilians, they ain't got no name, no reputation, no, no face card, no nothing. But they jump in these comments and they be popping it like what they would have did if they was in this situation. But you niggas ain't never been in this situation. And when the situation has presented some of you niggas, you niggas fail. Y'all fail miserably. You couldn't last in the streets. Some of y'all got exed. Some of y'all never even made it to the put on process. You probably was getting tested. Niggas was just seeing where your hands was and you folded. So this is your retribution and revenge to come in these comments and point the finger at niggas that you know you couldn't talk to like that in real life. And like I said, I know some solid civilians, homie, some niggas who don't bang that get with your program. That's not what I'm saying. But they don't usually bother themselves with stuff like this because if they wanted to live that life, they would have. The fact that they chose not to live that life, they're not going to get in the comments and start popping it like they like that. They just be like, like, like I said, the homie be like, man, I'll be lost, man. I'll just give you your view. He's not trying to figure out the gang shit, even though he's been around it and he knows a lot about it. He didn't been around both sides out here. That's not his lane. That's not y'all lane. But for some reason, y'all feel like it is behind these fake ass accounts, homie. The fourth reason, I'm going to hurry up and end this video. The fourth reason is this coward homie straight lame you could tell he probably still a virgin he got a channel called barrio tales i don't know if y'all seen that this dude is the worst kind of content creator um i i don't even believe he's hispanic even though he portrays to be he's always making videos about hispanics and in 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 pretty much like putting them up here and putting blacks down here. I said something to him before in his comments. Like I feel like you got something towards black people. He gonna say because I think Hood War stories had did something about the uh, the Acacia blocks or maybe it was the ATF in general against the CV seven O's. And he told our side, not even disrespecting them, but just you know. Let's stop making it seem like it's one-sided. So he told our side where the Acacia Blocks was doing damage to the CV7Os. This dude responded real fast like, oh yeah, this is the real story. How is that the real story? Because it fits your narrative? I heard the nigga say something about people trying to slander La Raza. He didn't even say La Raza. He said La Raza. He said it just like that. Like the nigga who be like, oh, clear eyes for the dry eye. Like all these niggas. And that's exactly who he reminded me of when he said it. For dry red eyes, get clear eyes. If you're not, you don't. If you're old enough to remember that, never mind. Never mind. Clear eyes works is, is the point. Just If you didn't know, clear eyes is a great product. Behind these accounts that don't show their face, be slow. Whoa, say that again. It's like that, like the nigga who be like, oh, clear eyes for the dry eye. Like all these niggas behind these accounts that don't show their face, be slow. And that right there is the reason why I show my face. It's very um, unbecoming. 
bitch made to make all these kind of videos and be controversial. Now, I'm not saying just because you make the video and don't show your face, you're bitch made. But if you make the videos and you talk shit and you don't either keep an Instagram link or something readily available so niggas can see who you is, my case, I'm going to just show my face because fuck is you niggas going to do besides be mad and talk shit on Clubhouse? Who cares? Um, let it be what it's going to be, big dog. Stand on B.I.B.I. Well, I'm sitting down because I'm not going to stand on any kind of bins right now. But you get the point. It's, it's a sentiment. I was on a really good roll until I realized that I was actually sitting and I'm not going to stand on business because why would I want to fight somebody off what's going on on YouTube? I'm mad at an app. If you're so mad at what happens on YouTube, you should just delete the app. Boom. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Quick. Fast enough. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, you go to jail behind a free app that you wouldn't even have on your phone if it costs 50 cents. Don't worry about it. If this shit costs 99 cents, 9 out of 10 of you niggas would even have this fucking app. The fuck are we talking about? Like, what is this nigga, a robot? La Raza. You didn't even say it right, bro. So, he made a video for the million fucking time about East Coast and F-13. And even the majority, when I say the majority, I mean 90% of them comments. Even the Hispanics is like, yo, you corny for this. Why you keep bringing this up? It's already over. What he said in the begin beginning of that video, and I want y'all to go look at it. Type in Barrio. Hey, I'm laughing because he's spitting so many facts, bro. And he's saying everything I be wanting to say. But if I say it, I can't. I'm not mature enough in my YouTube space. Remember, y'all only been doing this for like six months. Only been doing this for like six months. Somebody left a comment and was like, oh, his jury... He getting that YouTube money now. He got jury. Nigga, this jury is older than my YouTube videos. Swear to God. You feel me? Swear to God. Uh, so with that being said, hold on. Boom. Got on charger right before I died. Ooh, on 1%. I caught that. <coughs> I'm not mature enough yet in my YouTube journey and my media training to say everything that my man hoodie from the hood is saying without maybe potentially saying something I shouldn't say. But I'm laughing because he's saying everything that I be wanting to say for sure. Tells us the video he uploaded <coughs> yesterday. I don't care if he get a view. Because this is the type of shit that need to be shut down. He going to say, if these two gangs decide to reignite this war, that's on them. I don't care. I'm only here for the money. It's cowards like that that get to hide behind these accounts and make money off of it. You, you, it's like you're purposely trying to kick up some dust that you're not going to be nowhere in the mix for. I can't respect that. I don't know who could respect your platform. And this is a motherfucker we'll never know who he is. So he feel comfortable saying that. He would never say that to no East Coasters. He would never say that to no F-13s. But he could say that behind this account. He could sit back. He could get money off it. Like I said, go look at the comments. The majority of the comments is like, bro, you goofy. Like, why you keep doing this? And you could tell that the majority of them are Hispanic. Yeah, you got a few that come in there and net banging and trying to stir some shit up. But overall, the comments is positive. Like, yo, well, positive for the overall situation. Negative for his buster ass. Like Bam said. Why do you civilians want to keep talking about gang stuff? Make a channel and talk about you being a 30-year-old virgin. Make a channel talking about how them gangbangers was pressing you when you walked home from school. Make a channel about how that gangbanger stole your bitch from you. Make, make a channel about that. Most of you niggas will have no motion if you made a channel about yourself. Or things you could relate to. I've been having weirdos come in my comments recently since I've been talking about Rick Baby and all the shit going up there. Like, all your videos is about no jumper. Bitch, I got over 600 videos. Do your research. Man. I got like 400. But you get the point. You get the point. You get the point. My boy is preaching right now. We make videos about what's current and what's going on in the atmosphere of the universe that we live in within this micro world of fake world and views. Y'all my imaginary friends. I'm your imaginary friend. Metaverse. You feel me? Short story shorter. The internet. Yeah. We make videos about what's current. If Brick Baby crashing out is the biggest thing of the week, that's what we're all going to talk about. 
the same way that bridge collapse god bless everybody in baltimore but that's what every news outlet is going to cover because that's what's current if you don't understand that i don't want to call you stupid i want to call you a fucking idiot so i'm gonna call you a fucking idiot for sure i gotta be one of the most creative content creators on youtube I don't sit there and react to people all day. Look at this video, for example. Damn near. Hey, we sit here react to niggas all day. <laughs> we for sure sit here react to niggas all day. But that's the homie. I know you ain't talking to me, but I'm talking shit. Nigga, we over here reacting to niggas all day. We reacting to you right now, damn it. So what? But that's that's my nigga. Shout out to Hetty from the hood. I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking shit. But we gonna keep reacting to niggas all day, though. 20 minutes. Uploaded videos with conversations with the two homies from Skyline, G Boy, and, and, and Kill Switch. Now I got Tiny Dude sitting in the chamber. So to try to make it seem like I only can make content off of other people, you clearly must have just found my channel and then did your research. I've been telling stories about myself, my homies, uh 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 my favorite rappers, my favorite storytellers on YouTube, whatever. I got all kind of different categories so for a nigga to try to place me in the box based on a few videos in the past couple of weeks when they're doing goofy shit to go viral and then you have an opinion on it and this all oh, all your content is about them nigga fuck out of here with that shit man but anyways man i just had to get this off my chest some of y'all need to stay in your lane homie it's cool to have an opinion because it's on the internet it's not cool to act like you know more than the person who's actually been involved. It's not cool to start talking sideways because you know nobody can never find out who you are. That's my video for today, man. I didn't make it way longer than I intended to, but P-Zesty. <laughs> you tripping. But anyways, that's my video. Calling Pub Daddy P Zesty as well. Video for the day, man. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old win. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I know some of you punk ass trolls gonna come in here and start. All right, y'all. We invite you to the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. We got going over here at TNN and Trappers Network. News you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college, big dog. The next video, we're going to announce who won $900. You feel me? Management is sending text in the video. All right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't saying who the winner because I don't want to, bro. That's why I haven't done it because I don't want to because. Fuck management. That's why. That's why I haven't done it. Just because I don't have to. I can do what I want to do. I'll do it in the next video. You should do it in this video. I don't want to. And I'm not going to. Little bitty ass whore. <laughs> don't be don't be acting peace zesty about the situation. Relax, bro. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. Chill. Either way, go. Like, comment, subscribe for more of this content we got going over here. Tandy is Trapless Network. News you use. Knowledge you can't get a college big dog. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network. T R A P N E W S N E T W O R X. That's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game Six. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles start from scratch. The Nightmare Before Christmas. They both find out as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. That's out now, too. So if you ain't got into that, go get into that. You trying to figure out how to win $100? That's $50 two different ways. Well, this nigga's going to win his own $100. So I guess you try to figure out how to win $150. Hit the red dot. Slide it to the left. Figure it all out. We got you. Don't even worry about it. But in the meantime, between time, it's free Avenue Angel. Until he's free, we are gone.